You know, I don't normally like being on hold, but I sure do like Christmas music. Hey, Justin Pogey. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Who am I? Oh, dude, don't worry about that. Hey, listen, question. Um, have you unpacked your things yet? Exactly how far is Rico from the ACC? Leafs lose to the Dallas Stars in abysmal 8-2, to and at the top of their wish list for things they want this Christmas should be to redo that game. I, I, I want to say Toskala was bad. I want to say I'm not sure he's fully recovered from his injury, but who is in front of him? You know, a lot of people wanted Justin Pogge to get the start against Dallas, and thank goodness he didn't. And you gotta give Dallas credit, but at the same time, I think this game was more the Leafs being bad than the Stars being good. And I mean, to talk a little bit about that, I thought the Stars were going to be one of the best teams in the West, and it turns out I might have been wrong. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think for the third time this year, the Leafs allow someone from the opposing team to get their first career hat trick. The Dallas rookie came in, and as many young guns seem to do to the Leafs this season, he shelled them. And I noticed something last night. Jeremy Williams didn't score, therefore the Leafs didn't win. Williams has played in seven games since being called up from the Marlies. He scored in five of them, and the Leafs have won all five of those games. The ones where he didn't score? Not so much. Jeremy Williams for captain? I wouldn't go that far, but it's a freaky stat, isn't it? And yesterday, Andre DeVoe tried to pick a fight with Steve Ott, and Steve Ott said no dice. Well, in the game before, someone tried to fight Andre DeVoe, and DeVoe said no dice. Does this make him a hypocrite? No! When DeVoe refused to fight, it's because the Leafs had a huge lead. When he wanted to fight, the Leafs were getting their butts kicked. You know, Steve Ott is an agitator, and if DeVoe can goad him into fighting him, he'll get him off the ice for five minutes, and also the Leafs bench will be energized. If your team has a 4 nothing lead and you don't want to fight, why should you fight? Because! Unfortunately, that's not a very good argument. But guys, it's Christmas, okay? I don't want to talk about the Leafs getting shelled 8-2. to two. I want to make you guys happy. I don't want to bring you down here. So here's a few things that I cooked up for you right before the Christmas break. First, I wrote a Christmas wish list to Berkey Claus. I put it on LeafSpace.com. Here's the link over here. Basically, I made a wish list of players I would love to see on a newly rebuilt Leafs team. One of them is Kyle Quincy of the LA Kings. What I want you to do is tell me what your Leafs Christmas wish list looks like. Link over here. I know what you're thinking. How did I get this Leafs thing all the way over my head? And I've been ripping on Tank Nation all year long because they want the Leafs to come in last and get the first or second overall pick. But I thought it'd be good to have some fun with them. So here's an interview between a reporter and a Leafs team trying to come in last. And we're back. First off, I'd just like to say congratulations on losing 3-2 to two tonight. But uh, you, you were given a run for your money, weren't you? Yeah, you know, uh, you mean, uh, those guys, uh, they, they really stink. Uh, they're, they're not very good at all. And uh, But, you know, uh, we came out there, uh, didn't forecheck, didn't finish any of our checks. And uh, sure enough, uh, we came out on bottom. And, you know, I'm really sorry to bring this up, but uh, you did score a very nice goal in the second period. Uh, tell me, what was the atmosphere in the locker room after you scored that goal? Yeah, you know, uh, Coach uh, really came out... Uh, uh, between uh, second and third period and gave it to me because, uh, I mean, I, I can't be scoring goals like that. Uh, I mean, I tried to dump it wide, uh, kind of deflected, uh, went between the goalie's legs, and sure enough, we're up 2-1 uh, heading into the third. And, uh, you know, I, I just uh, got to not work on my game and uh, can't be letting things like that happen. But fortunate for you, the other team came out, and uh, as little as they tried, they managed to score two goals on you for the 3-2 win. Congratulations. Thanks. We'll now go back to Leaf Studios, where fans are celebrating their first nine-game losing streak of the season. Monica? Hopefully it doesn't get to that, but I think you guys see my point. But now, guys, I'm going to go celebrate Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, I'm going to go hang out with my family, have a lot of food, and then Christmas Day, hang out with family... Have a lot more food, <laughs> probably get into the sole and the shrimp and the bacala and stuff like that. Oh man, I'm going to dominate that sole plate. Sorry, I got a little carried away there, but guys, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have a very Merry Christmas this year, and no matter what you celebrate, I hope you have a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas to all, and to all... <coughs> Ew. Oh. Merry Christmas, everybody.